Looting of food supplies in warehouses has since progressed to vandalization of medical stores, a trend the PTF describes as worrisome. We call on all who are in possession of vaccines, medicines and other equipment and consumables to please return them. From the perspective of environment, that can, can constitute a lot of environmental problems because chemicals, medicines, or equipment that might be littered, or people that can take and think they can use it without knowing how to use it, can constitute serious hazard. So please desist from this wanton destruction and looting. The task force clarifies that the palliatives being looted in parts of the country are donations from the private sector-led coalition against COVID-19, COVID, which are yet to be distributed by some state governments, stressing that all federal government palliatives have been given out to beneficiaries in the course of the pandemic. The federal government palliatives consisted largely of the 70,000 metric tons of grains released from the strategic grain reserve as well as rice cured from the Nigerian Customs Services. Since the relief effort began with CACOVID and the state governments in early August, official flagging of and handover of the palliatives have taken place in 28 states and the FCT. Out of the 11.7 million supplies ordered, 11 million were confirmed to have been delivered. And in terms of the schedule, 17 states had 100% delivery and a kickoff exercise was conducted. 12 states had over 85% of deliveries reached. Only 8 states did not have a flag off or formal handover of these commodities. The PTF says it appreciates the support received from CACOVID and appeals to all Nigerians to remain law-abiding and collaborate with law enforcement agencies to restore normalcy nationwide. In Abuja, Mitaire Ikmen, NTA News.